Hi, I'm Charlotte Smith and this is Grass-Fed TV, your place for tips and ideas on cooking through that quarter beef. And today, we're talking about liver. Unfortunately, only about one out of four people who orders a quarter beef from us even orders the organ meats. And that's a shame because this is the most nutrition-packed and nutrient-dense food you can possibly eat. And today I'm doing two recipes, one with beef liver and one with pork liver, and beef liver is by far more packed with nutrition too. A few cool facts you should know about beef liver are that it has anywhere from 10 to 100 times more nutrition than any other food you're eating, including a lot of people in the past have wondered how our Native Americans uh, did not suffer from scurvy, well, they intuitively knew how important the liver was. And li liver actually has about three times more vitamin C than an orange, even. So when the Native Americans would um, kill a buffalo, for instance, the first thing they would do um, is to go in and get out the adrenal glands and the liver and split that up between all the tribal members before they even had any of the lean meats or anything. And in many other cultures, the lean meats were even, muscle meats were fed to the dogs and they only ate the organ meats. So in our past, we intuitively knew how good they were for us and we've lost touch with that. So I know you, like me, struggle with eating organ meats. That's why I've got these two great recipes today that I hope will help you eat more of them. My husband and I have found a way to eat organ meats using these two recipes and we eat about a tablespoon of liver three times a week and we know now that uh, we're just getting the ultimate in nutrition when we do so. Now liver, um, I've been pretty squeamish in handling it in the past <laughs> because frankly, look at it, it is kind of squeamish and you just get used to it. So we have about a pound of pork liver. This is for our first recipe. I'm doing a Braunschweiger, which is a liverwurst and it's spreadable. It's just a great way to um, eat liver. It's also have some of our um, pastured pork sausage in it as well. A really important note is to make sure your meat products, including the organ meats, are from pastured animals. Uh, any liver that you might buy in the store because you won't find these pastured products in stores. Since their liver is already unhealthy, it's not able to store the vitamins that we eat the liver for. The liver is a storehouse for vitamins A, D, E, and K, as well as many minerals um, and also vitamin C and, and on and off. But if it's not from pastured animals, you won't find an abundance of those in there. Another important fact about the liver is many people mistakenly think of it as a sponge that holds the body's toxins. That's not the case. The liver neutralizes the body's toxins and it does store, again, like I said, the vitamins and minerals. So you're safe eating the liver. Now I've started slicing it here. I'm just going to slice it in some big hunks and then we're going to put those in our food processor. And now that we've pureed the liver, you just want to put it um, on top of our ground pork that we have in here. And again, a few years ago, I was a lot more squeamish about this, but <laughs> yes, it looks gross, but just think how good it is going to be for you. So you put that on the top here, and then we just want to mix this in really well. Next you want to saute our onions. So I've got some uh, bacon fat here from our pastured pigs. We'll let it melt. Once your onions are nicely lightly browned, you want to add your spices, which are cloves, allspice, and nutmeg, and some salt and pepper. And then just stir that in really well. Once your onion and spice mixture is done, we just want to add it to our liver and sausage mixture. We're going to stir it in here really well before we put it in our baking dish. Now that our loaf is all mixed up, we can just put it in an earthenware baking dish or two loaf pans. And pat it down really well. Very similar to a meatloaf. Once it's all patted down, just put a piece of foil over the top. Then we take this directly to our oven where I have a baking pan that I put, just put boiling hot water into, which goes up about one inch on this pan. Place it in there and set your timer for two hours. 
and then it's only on 300 degrees, so it'll cook slowly for the next couple hours. This next recipe I'm going to show you is just a basic liver pate, and it's very quick. We actually served it for our Thanksgiving hors d'oeuvres, and people loved it, and they had no idea they were getting not only this delicious, but nutrition-packed hors d'oeuvre. And so this is made from beef liver. And again, you don't need to be squeamish about it like I have been for years, but we just want to cut it into some big chunks that we're going to cook up in a pan. Next, you want to put about a quarter cup of your chosen fat into the pan. And this is our homemade lard, again, packed full of vitamin D, which is a perfect complement to the liver that's packed full of vitamin A. We're going to melt that and add your onions. Saute them a couple minutes till they're starting to brown. Next, you'll add your spices. We've got some sage, rosemary, and thyme, and two cloves of garlic, and a little salt. Mix that in really well. Finally, add your liver. Stir this for about three minutes. Then add your third cup cooking sherry to it. And you just want it to saute for about two more minutes until you cannot smell the alcohol in the steam. Then you want to add the rest of your chosen fat, in this case our pastured pork lard again. And just let that melt in there before we put it in the food processor. Now this actually smells pretty darn good, so you bring the hot mixture over to your food processor, put it all in here, and when it's all pureed, here, get a nice picture of that up close. You just can put it in a crock. I like these little ramekins like this because it stores nicely in the fridge that way. And also if I want to pull it out to serve guests, it makes a very nice presentation. All right, so I smoothed out the pate on top. And this, at this point, if you don't have any lard available, you can put just a piece of saran wrap touching it to keep it from turning brown. Um, but I'm going to pour some of our fresh lard on it that I warmed up. Here, let me pour it this way so you can see it. Pour that right over the top, and that is going to harden, and turn white, and keep a nice seal on there. And then to be really extra fancy, I'm gonna just put a parsley leaf in there. And what's cool is the lard will harden um, right over that parsley and make it look really pretty, very fancy. So there you go. Thank you so much for joining me. Now you have two great options to get some really nutritious liver in your life. And let me tell you, I just took the Braunschweiger out of the oven and this tastes amazing. If I had known about this recipe for the last 10 years, it would have been so easy to get more liver in my diet. Um, now it's your turn. What I'd like you to do is scroll down below this video to the comment section and tell me what has stopped you from eating more liver up until now and also what's the first step you are going to take to get more liver into your diet. And then forward this to your friends because I know your friends probably are not eating liver as well and they need to know that there's a great way to um, make it taste really good so you can get more of it. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon. <laughs> getting this powerful uh, packed <laughs> okay okay no more coughing all right the other misconception people have is that the liver is um, oh shoot what was I gonna say <laughs> <laughs>